hey guys good afternoon yeah welcome back to my channel i still remain dr chubi so actually what we'll be looking at today is how to write the electronic configuration of the first 30 elements so please guys don't forget to subscribe okay so here yeah, let's start with the principle so when writing the electronic configuration of the element we start by filling the s orbital then the second of P orbital, then the D orbital, then the F orbital. Okay, first of all, this electronic configuration goes with half bars principle. So electrons enter into orbitals in order of increasing energy. So S orbital is of lower energy compared to two P orbital. P orbital is of lower energy compared to D orbital. D orbital is of lower energy compared to F orbital. So let's start with the electronic configuration of those elements here so let's start with hydrogen remember hydrogen is atomic number is one that means has only one electron so one is one that is it helium has one s2 so S, orbit, S subshell can only accommodate two electrons. So, okay, let's start with lithium 1s2 2s1. So, this is it. So, next one is 1s2 2s2. So remember, after filling the S sub orbital, the next one is P. Okay, so this S2, then 2P1. Also, if you, calcul if you calculate the number of electrons on each sub shell, it should give you the number of, it should give you the number of proton, maybe the atomic number. Is two plus one is three, two plus two is four, two plus two plus one is five. Okay, let's check on carbon. Mm -hmm. Nitrogen. These three, sorry, these three oxygen, So the P subshell can only accommodate six electrons. So this one is filled now. We are done with P of it now. Remember our P of it is filled up now. So the next one should be from our principle here. The next one after filling in the second P of it should be three S. So this one okay magnesium our s over 2 is filled up now
So the next one is 3P AB2. Oh, sorry. This S to S2. So this flooring. before Continue. Remember. POB2 is filled up, so now we enter our 4S. Sorry, it's 3. So guys, we are done with the first 20 elements. So now what we'll be looking at now is the electronic configuration of the transition elements. They are, these are the D block elements. So D block elements. So let's start again. Remember, fill your S of it all first. After filling the forest now from our principle here after filling the four s after filling the four s the next thing the next one is the d of two here three d one okay let's continue we are in the transition elements now the deep lock elements
to S2 then to P6 through S2 So now we are in a, in, in, in a little bit that is an exception of the normal rule. So, so 3, 2, 2, 2. You guys have to be careful in chromium. 3s2. S. So here is the part. In, in here you don't our s orbital doesn't contain two electrons in chromium it contains one and then a 3d instead of having four electrons here it will be five so this is the exception with our normal rule exception okay we continue with mang manganese you guys have to be careful with chromium is 2 then 3d5 one s2 two, 2s2 two, 2p6 two, 3s2 two, 3p6 4s2 3d6 so cobalt Two P six three S two three P six four S two three D seven. So here is another exception copper two S two. 2p6 3s2 3p6 instead of filling this one with two electrons it's going to be one so 3d instead of being 3d8 it should be 3d9 so we're in the last one zinc is not considered a transition element because of it's the field block. Three S two, three P six, four S two, three D ten. So zinc is not actually considered a transition line because it's the it's the block is filled up. So it's not considered as an ele transition element. So thank you guys. We are done with the transition. We are done with the electronic configuration of first 80 elements. We'll be expecting you guys to subscribe to our channel and also be expecting more from us. Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe. Click the click the subscribe button. Thank you guys.